just uh, more of Trump's bigotry and racism. It's nothing new from Trump, but now we kind of see it like up close and personal. So it's a little bit more disturbing to just see it, especially uh, at uh, his rally when they were saying, send her back, and he didn't really say anything about it. Yet he lied about it. And I hope that, you know, he understands the parameters around what he just did, and hopefully he can work to fix that. And uh, we can all come together to correct him as a nation. And uh, at the same time, I think, you know, we're adjusting and changing pretty quickly as a society because of technology and everything. And, you know, being able to adjust to these changes is mm -hmm. crucial, I think, especially when you have a person in that leadership role who has technology, these type of things. Personally, I, I feel like Did it's, uh, it's sickening. Um, living in the time, you know, now, you know, we have abortion laws, uh, immigration, uh, people of color trying to go to school and educate themselves. I think it's really terrible to tell a person who has uh, uplifted the community and has contributed so much to Congress to tell her to go back, you know, where she came from. I think it's sad to see, like, someone that's so high up in, like, kind of like running the whole country and he's telling like immigrants who came to this country the land of the free to get like to get a better future and to have access to so much things and he's like shutting us down or telling us go back home or whatever I just said. I also thought it was disturbing I thought it was it really shows the direction where our country's going I think uh, to the, the comments themselves were unacceptable. Yeah, I, I think you know because it's the president of the United States his voice is so strong um, and you know, people hear him, and you would think he would have have more of a sense of responsibility to help uplift and empower all people, since he's the president of all of us. Uh, but it just shows you the feelings of a lot of people in this country. So I think the tweets towards, if we're gonna call them the the, the squad, it's rhetoric that's been recycled forever. In Dearborn, we've always been told go back home. But living in Dearborn, it makes me feel like uncomfortable that. Um, our president, well, the president of the United States, um, favorites white people. You know, living in Dearborn, like that's a little harsh, knowing that he doesn't even like he doesn't know anything that goes on in Dearborn and stuff. And like, I think there should be as much diversity um, in the government as possible, so that there's people that are representing everybody in the country because. America is all about diversity and the land of all people, so... Definitely enable events like okay. what happened yesterday by not denouncing. We're born here, but sometimes, even now, I feel like an outsider in my own country. So I think it's, it's terrible, especially as a woman of color. Both. Mm -hmm. What the American people don't understand is that those extremist groups, Al-Qaeda and all of them, right? They hate us right. worse than More they than hate the Americans because we turned them in and they look at us and say, oh, you turned in, you know, a brother. I said, no, I didn't turn in a brother. I turned in a murderer. I turned in a I'm the target. Because you know? I, I get it from our side and I get it from your side too. Oh.